Once you have your mounting location, double check that it meets our distance and height requirements. Be sure to mount your device on a stable surface like a concrete wall or press box and avoid mounting on any surface that is prone to even minor movement or shaking, such as a chain link fence or light pole. This surface material and choice of hardware must be capable of supporting the weight of the camera, which is 21 pounds, while ensuring the mounting surface does not allow any movement. Finally, make sure your mount is level before marking where to drill your four holes. A crooked mount will mean crooked video. Install your mounting plate using the right hardware and tools for your surface of choice. The holes on the plate are 8.4 millimeters in diameter. To secure the plate to the wall, use four of the recommended screws for your mounting surface. To attach your camera to the mount, you'll need to hold each side of the camera arm and slide the back of the camera arm down into the openings on the mounting plate until the top of the camera arm is flush with the top of the mounting plate. The small hole on each side of the mounting plate should also line up with the camera arm. Then attach the bolts, washers, and nuts included with your camera through the small hole on each side of the camera arm and mounting plate. To secure the camera, take the included security cable and run it through the security loop on the back of the camera located next to the ports. Then, attach the cable around an external structure or beam or a separate security bolt. Next, plug the power cable attached to the camera into the wall outlet. Insert the black Ethernet cable with the attached weatherproof connector into the port labeled Network on the back of the camera. Plug the other side of the black cable into the Ethernet port on the wall. Be sure to weatherproof your wall outlet and Ethernet port if they're located outside. If you plan to connect Huddle Sideline to focus, insert the additional black Ethernet cable with the attached weatherproof connector into the port labeled Accessory on the back of the camera. Then, make sure any unused ports on the back of the camera are protected by the supplied dust caps fitted for your device. Once the cables are plugged into the wall, wait for the camera to turn on. When the light on the front of the camera turns yellow, you're ready to move on to camera activation in the app. Also, if you'd like to add commentary to your live streams, plug in your standard 3.5mm audio cord to the port labeled Audio In on the back of the camera. Lastly, remove the clear film covering the lens on the front of your camera and use a microfiber cloth to clean the lens.